So I'll be back full time in a week or so. So soon? Yeah, well, why not? I'm feeling good physically, mentally. Is there some secret remedy I should know about? No. Just rest. Speaking of which, Tracy and I are heading down to Christchurch in a few days' time. And that's rest? Uh, my family are down there. Right. Anyway, there's lots to do in these suitcases to find. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Enjoy your time in Christchurch. Thank you. <laughs> He's so nice. He must have suspected. Your grin practically gave it away. OK, sorry. Straight faces from now on. Absolutely. <laughs> Airline themed. We could have, like, aeroplane seats and the waiters in, like, 60s style uniforms. And little TV screens for every customer. We can serve rubbery food with plastic cutlery. Ha uh ha. -huh. I was thinking we could rename the bar, like, Jet Set or Mile High or something. And we could hire a mixologist to create special airline-themed cocktails. I could dress as a pilot and communicate with the staff through a speaker. Ah, uh, no, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> well, no offence, but the whole idea's kind of dumb. I love it how people say no offence right before they say something really offensive. Well, I mean, you've seen the latest profit margins. Why, why fix what isn't broken? Ah, uh, because this place is really boring and dated and in desperate need of a makeover. And where is the cash for this makeover supposed to come from? Well, you don't have to worry about that because I'm the boss and it's my job, so thanks very much. That girl is driving me around the bend. And so are you! Anyway, I thought you and Bella were getting on well. That was before I discovered that she was incompetent. Oh, dear. I did say, didn't I? It's not funny, Gerald. She's making me look bad. Why? You're not responsible for her mistakes. I know. But despite everything, I feel sorry for her. Oh, Yvonne, this is a pattern that really needs to stop. You, you're not helping by protecting her. All you're doing is tying yourself in knots and preventing her from learning from her own mistakes. I suppose you're right. I am, Yvonne. You're too soft, and it has to stop. You need to cut her loose. Look, if Sophie goes ahead with her ideas for the bar, there won't be a bar. <laughs> That's a bit melodramatic, isn't it? <laughs> she's talking renovations, new uniforms, totally rebranding. If she's got the extra cash to throw around, she would be better off replacing the fridges and the dishwashers. Except she hasn't got that much cash to throw around. Well, we've been turning a profit for the last few weeks, so if she went for a loan, she might actually get one. So she runs the RV into the ground, learns from her mistake and goes back to uni. You've got to be happy with that, Dad. Actually, no, Hunter. Obviously, I want Sophie back at school, but I don't want her bankrupted to get there. Now he's being melodramatic. Look, I get your point, Brody, but after everything she went through with Karen, I don't want to see Sophie hurt again. Yeah, I second that. Then it's agreed. You'll have a word with her and talk her out. No, it's over to you, my friend. Except I don't want you to talk her out of it. I want you to make it work. Eh? I want Sophie happy. I think she needs a success of her own. But so, Mr. Bar Manager, you are going to help her achieve that, OK? Well, Scott has definitely got more colour in his cheeks now. Oh, I'm glad. Give him a week, here. we'll be back to normal. Mm -hmm. So did you find out what was going on with him yesterday? Yeah, I did. And it was just a misunderstanding. It was no big deal. Oh, it sounded like a big deal yesterday. I know, and that's because I'm an idiot. I was just tired and I overreacted and blew things way out of proportion. Hmm. So, something and nothing, none of which you want to talk about. But, uh, colour in his cheeks now. Hmm. Did you guys kiss and make up? You could say that. Why? What would you say? Nothing. I wouldn't say nothing. Ah, so there is something to tell. No. Now, behave or I won't let you finish the cookies if on seen us. If you just fill this out here, here, and here, and then bring that back to me when you're done. Right, those reports should be ready by now. Of course, we did say half an hour. Oh, you did. Here we go. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, what's happened to the formatting? You know we use the left-hand margin for notes, Yvonne. Of course, and I always do. Bella, did you change the format when you ran the spell check? I didn't do anything, just spell-checked it. You must have done something. Look, half the document's in italics. 
That's exactly how it looked when I sat down to check it. No, it didn't, and no, I... Hey, Yvonne, there's no harm done. Just reformat it and print it again. Of course. I'll bring it up to you. Much appreciated. Now you've made me look unreasonable in front of Callum. No, you got grumpy. That wasn't my fault. Yes, it was. You messed up my document and then you fibbed about I it. I didn't. It's OK, just be honest. I am honest. Oh, you have to be joking. Are you forgetting about the huge whopper you're currently telling your parents? What's this? I'll leave you to answer this one, Bella. Yvonne made a mistake with her formatting and now she's trying to blame me. Oh, Piffle, what is going on? Just a disagreement. Wendy, your daughter has something to tell I you. I don't. Fine. Bella is not on holiday from beauty school. It all got too hard for her and now she has dropped out. <sighs> what a load of absolute... Bella? Oh, I'm really sorry, Mum. You're right. You are the boss, and what you say goes. Good, thanks. Uh, I've even started crunching some numbers for you. Um, I've included a little bit of income that we may get from selling the current fit out, like the tables and the chairs and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I got some initial quotes for the renovation. Whoa. And I've also included a loss of income that we'll have for the period while we're closed. Let's say about two weeks. I mean, it's a conservative estimate anyway. Well, we'll just do it in phases. We'll do the bits we can afford as we can afford them. Well, the thing is with rebranding is it's got to be new and, and punchy. You know, we've got to create some hype and have a big launch. Which won't happen if we do it gradually. Well, should I get a loan? No. I mean, you're the boss and, and this is your decision, but no, 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 no. But this place is so boring, so... Kieran. Well, what about your other idea? I didn't have an other idea. What? Getting a mixologist then? That was to create themed cocktails. Yeah, yeah, we can still do that. Special events, we can have theme nights here. Yeah. What's this? Some other costings that I did. A uh, mixologist for the night, a couple of new DJs. I really think you're on the right track with this. I know what you're doing. What's that? You're trying to make me feel better because my first idea was really dumb. It wasn't dumb, it, it was just really expensive. I mean, maybe one day when you are raking it in, but in the meantime, this dude, Dante Holland, is free tonight and tomorrow night if we want to give him a trial. And if everything works out, we can book him in for some regular evenings. You really think it's a good idea? If I didn't, I would be trying to talk you out of it, not into it.